Hey, my name's Harley Adam from the Sunshine Coast, Queensland. I ride BMX for game protection and admissive clothing. Hey, uh, my name's Gecko. I'm from the Sunshine Coast, Queensland. I also ride BMX. I've been riding BMX for a few years now, just progressing even further and further now that I'm riding for game protection. So in this video, you guys are gonna see the progression of myself and Gecko and the rest of the hill willies at Our Land. So Our Land, Ryan bought probably about a year ago now and we had to put in a few months work just to get it ready for this airbag and the ramp to go get. And then I think a few months later, about November, we got the lander there, which was one of the scariest things I've ever hit. And it's been one of the funnest times since then. So Ryan's main focus with all this is pretty much to push the limits to action sports right as far as they possibly can go. Um, in doing that, like he's hooked myself and Gecko up with hyper frames from his sponsors and all that um he allows all the international riders traveling overseas he has a house at the property for everyone to stay at and all that stuff so this ramp is actually identical to the nitro circus next level tour it's the moon buddha it's 2.6 meters tall but we decided it wasn't big enough and we added another foot to it now it's 2.9 meters tall and we had to do that for brandon schmidt from nitro circus to land the quad flip so sometimes we just go out to the land, it might just be myself, Ryan and Harley and we'll have like a little session. Or other times we'll get out there, we'll get everyone together at the same time, cook up a big feed, make sure everyone's fed, we talk about what we want to do for that day. And then massive things happen. So yeah, it's good to meet riders like Andy Buckworth, Jay Tui, uh, Jeremy Merrin, Reese Rogers, Zach Chappell, Lanky. Yeah, it's, it's good to just, just meet all these good riders that come out. I'm grateful myself and Gecko at the level we are with riding BMX at the moment and uh, allowed access to a facility like our Wooloo Land. Like there's a bunch of kids out there that I'm sure can train up enough to allow, be allowed access to places like this and ride in the near future. So the airbag we have, it's three metres tall. It's got separate chambers inside it to keep us safe. It's about 15 metres by 15 metres. I think it roughly takes us, if the bag's stretched out and pegged out, I think it'll take us 15 minutes to blow up. So by the time we pad up and get ready, it's ready to roll. The airbag's really good because although it's not a children's toy and we still have to wear pads while we're learning tricks, it's relatively good to crash on you can land in some weird positions as long as you're not on your bike or the bike doesn't fall on you as long as you land upright or to your back it's pretty good but it's a lot better to learn a trick to that i'd say than to learn it to concrete or wood So after you've spent enough time doing your tricks to the airbag and you feel confident enough to go to the lander, usually it takes about half an hour with the roughly 10 people to fold the airbag up, pull the lander out and blow the lander back up. While the bag's blowing up, all the boys are mentally preparing for the tricks they're gonna do to the bag, padding up and um, most of them have a go-to trick, couple of warm-up jumps they'll do before we actually go send the trick we wanna do. Uh, I'm going to do a 7, 720 front flip, I think. Uh, double backy, hopefully double backy train with Harley. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try a fronty bar and fronty bar tuck. Wow. Maybe fronty bar bar. <laughs> Not sure. See how the day plays out. What are your plans for today? I'd like to double flip bar tuck, but I'm yet to get it to the bag. So we'll still see how it plays out. Double flip bar, sure. Double flip bar, yeah. I will get that done and I really want to get a chinger flip. So that's a double flip tail whip. Let's see what happens, guys. Far out. Woo! Yeah, you get you.
The feeling of landing a trick after you've been practicing for months with it is incredible. Like everyone, all the boys running down, giving you high fives and whatnot. It's just uh, the best feeling. So the reason I run game protection pads is just in the past, me and Gecko have had injuries our whole lives. Like really can't afford to take any more knocks and bangs to the knees and legs. So yeah, we run game protection pads because you're covered from your butt all the way down, knees, shins, you got ankle uh, pads, ankle braces. They're real slim, so when you got your je riding jeans and that on, you can't really tell you got pads on, which is a really good plus, and it feels really good to ride in. Some of these crashes you're seeing, they're, they're a big mental game, the adrenaline of landing your trick or trying to land a trick whether it's a world first or not that's one thing to get you back up and going the other thing is you can't do this without pads you can be the toughest person in the world you can't do it without pads i've had purple bruised hips everything and pads have helped me so much to get back up and you could physical endurance lasts so much longer. myself have pretty much the same goals where we really want to push action sports to the next level, especially mega ramp riding. So I'd really like to thank Brian Williams and all our sponsors for really giving us the opportunity to get to where we are now and where we're going to be in the future. We're both grateful for it. Keep watching and stay tuned.